Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon, episode number 113, I believe, of Fluke Fridays. And what we're going to go over today is how you can make more out of your power quality tools, both your 1770 series and your 1730 series, how you can then connect it to these um, Bluetooth Fluke Connect Wi-Fi modules, or not Wi-Fi, Bluetooth um, Fluke Connect modules, and how that can add some versatility to what you guys currently do. So um, this was not an easy video to set up. It took a lot of work for me. So I hope you guys enjoy it and it's pretty informative. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you do like it because this took a little bit of work. And I think it, um, it really can expand and hopefully step by step how to connect your power quality analyzers to a Fluke Connect module and where some applications are that you might not have thought of before. So thanks and have, let's jump into it. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what my setup is today before we really jump into how to, what we're doing today. But I've got a Fluke 1777 uh, power quality analyzer from Fluke right now. This is kind of the flagship power quality analyzer from Fluke in um, 2023 as of, what is it, October 2023. We also have a 1730 series, which is a uh, little less expensive than the 1770 series. Um, I have a 1736 with me today, but it's actually been upgraded. I bought, or I was able to get the firmware update to get to the 1738. So yes, you can buy a firmware update to make, make it uh, 1738. And so this has the capability of 1738, which what does that mean? That means now when we do event capture, we can actually measure or we can actually see the waveforms in that event capture. So not only do you get a table of events, but you get down to the wave shape of both the voltage and current on all three phases. Other things we have, we have a Bluetooth dongle that I have um, plugged into the top of the 1736. So right here, this little Bluetooth dongle, you can see it there. Um, that has to be plugged in if we wanna to talk to any Flute Connect tool or Flute Connect module. The other thing, I want to make sure you guys are aware of, if I can find it, I have a antenna that I have plugged in to the side of this Wi-Fi Bluetooth um, module that's plugged into the side of the 1730 or 1777 that comes with it. You will have to have this antenna or it won't find the Bluetooth. It doesn't have a strong enough Bluetooth antenna without that external antenna. And Fluke does have that part number. I'll try to find it and put it in the description below. Other things we have are two modules. One is the T3000FC, which is just gonna be a thermocouple reader. And I think it's the cheapest way to log a single thermocouple out there. Um, so great way to do that. Even if you don't wanna do it with your power quality tool, you can do this and then download via CSV file. And then this guy is a A3004FC, and it's gonna give us the ability to measure four to 20 milliamps. Um, and I'm going to have a 789 hooked up to source milliamps for us here in a little bit. And then I have something to simulate voltage and current for us. So that's kind of our setup. And now we're really going to jump into how to connect both the 1770 series and the 1730 series to a Fluke Connect module or a Fluke Connect meter like a clamp meter or 1587FC. So let's do it okay so now we're going to connect our module to the 1777 first um first things first you want to go to your module and you want to hit this little button and when that happens you should see a little icon up here that says the wireless that means it's sending out the signal then you come to your 1770 series you hit this a little i double click something um, and then i'm going to scroll down to auxiliary they're both off that's how they should come if You've never done this before. And then you'll see your wireless T3000. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna hit done. And if I go back into it, well, let's go look down here. We should see this start blinking blue. Yep, it's connected now. And then over here, we see a little green check mark. So that means we are connected. I've got um, this set up in single phase mode. We're not gonna do anything special with that. We're just gonna 
buzz through this, verify connection. I know the connections aren't perfect, but look, this is what we care about, auxiliary. So we're gonna have that. Um, actually, one thing I do wanna change with the setup is how often we're measuring. So interval, trending interval one second, perfect, that's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start, and now this one's off and running to the races, and we'll mess with this and squeeze my finger on here and watch the temperature go up, and so we can see the logging later. Now I've got my 789 hooked up, it's sourcing, this is measuring, um, so we've got that. Now we're gonna go over here and start on this one. So you, in this one, um, I could not find this exactly in the user manual, so just look and watch this video. You want to hit change configuration and then F4 or show menu and then scroll down to aux. And this is what they should be defaulted on, plus or minus 10 volts. And that would be if you have a wired auxiliary port here on the top. But we are going to do wireless, obviously. So we set aux 1 and it's not seeing anything. Well, that's because we haven't hit Flute Connect over here. So I'm gonna hit this Flute Connect, wireless symbol turns on. Now we come back over here. Let's be done. Show menu, aux. And there it is. We can see A3004FC, we click that. And now we are done. We can hit meter mode, go back to meter mode, and we can go into, once we're in meter mode, we can go down to aux, and we can see we're actually measuring our 4 to 20 there. And that's exactly what you're wanting, okay? So now it's good to log. I'm going to set up this logger. I'm going to have it um, one week, every minute. No, I'm going to edit this. I'm going to have this be every second. I'm going to change this to one hour because I'm not going to go that long. Done. And I hit start log. So now both meters or both uh, power quality meters are logging. And that is how you connect the Fluke Connect modules, whether they're modules or meters, to the 1730 series or the 1770 series and the hardware that you're going to need. Remember, with the 1770 series, you will need an antenna um, that Fluke sells. I'll try to find that in the description. You'll need Bluetooth. Um, if your 1738 should have come with this, if one of your other 1730 series didn't, I think you can buy it separately and make it work. And you should be good to go. I will have another video where I show what, what this looks like whenever you connect or whenever you download the data and you have it on your PC. So you can see where the information is once you get it into Fluke Energy Analyze Plus. So hopefully this was helpful. I know this was kind of a lot of information. It's kind of technical, but if you do have one of these 1730 series or 1770 series, I think it's a huge benefit to be able to connect these modules. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention is like, maybe you care about temperature. There's a temperature parameter based on your logger that you want to correlate with. That's why I have this one out here. And then this one, if you're in a process plant and something is controlled by four to 20, you could clamp this on. And then if something ramps up or ask for um, more air or whatever, you could then measure the motor or the compressor that's giving it that air. So that's why you might want to use one of these two. Obviously, all the other things that you could measure, voltage, current, resistance, all that could be put in as well. So. Anyways, hopefully this was informative and you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you've watched more than three videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Have a good day.